Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet Domahina. I make fitness content, lifestyle content, and everything in between. And in today's video, I am finally doing my long awaited fitness journey video. But before I get into this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a video. Like this video and follow me on Instagram because I make a lot of fitness content over there. I want you to comment down below and tell me where you are in your fitness journey and what are some of your fitness goals. Let's start a discussion because I really wish that I had someone to talk about this stuff with when I started this journey. So go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. Let's start off from the beginning. When I was younger, I did competitive cheer for a while. I was a cheerleader my whole life. Funny, I'm a cheer coach now. So cheer has just always been a part of my life. So I was super fit growing up. I always had a healthy relationship with food. I always sat at around 120 pounds. I am four foot 11, just for reference. I'm a very short person. When I went to college, I didn't gain the freshman 15. I stayed really, really fit. In fact, I fell in love with weight training my junior year and I got really, really fit back then and life was good, okay? Life was good. It wasn't until I became an adult, adult, when everything just kind of started spiraling. From senior year to post-grad, I was dealing with a lot. I was going through a breakup, having some financial issues. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was supposed to go to PA school, that didn't happen, and I just, there was just too much going on at the time. I graduated in 2015. So we are gonna fast forward to 2016, 2017. I got my first big girl job at a high school as a biology and a forensic science teacher. Everything just started to get better in a sense. When your finances improve, it puts you at a lot more ease. But like everything that I had gone through before that, like I didn't deal with it. So once I was in the position to be able to pay my bills and have a nice apartment and you know travel and all that good stuff, I was drained. I was exhausted because I had just gone through so much. So I fell into somewhat of a depression. I was never clinically diagnosed, but I feel like I fell into some type of depression. I would go to work, I would come home, I would eat, and I would sleep. And this is where my bad relationship with food started. Uh, my food of choice was Chick-fil-A. I would always get the number two spicy deluxe with a large order of fries and a lemonade. <laughs> and that was the thing that I just loved to eat. And I still love that meal, honestly, to this day, but I don't eat it as much, obviously. And I was eating a lot of pizza, burgers, and I have, I have, I'm not gonna say had, I have the biggest sweet tooth. I love sugary things, I love cookies, I love sugar cookies, I love chocolate chip cookies. I love cake, I just love processed sugars. Like I just, ugh. That's where my bad relationship with food started. Fast forward to a couple of more years, three years, I was slowly and gradually gaining weight. And in 2018, 20, 19-ish, I decided to buy a scale. <laughs> I decided to buy a scale because I wanted to know how much weight I had gained. And I thought, you know, maybe you, you only gained like 10 pounds. No, once I jumped on the scale, I realized that I had gained almost 30 pounds. That was a shock to me and I continued to gain weight. I had stepped on the scale and I saw 150 and there was a time where I was hitting 155, pushing 160 and I knew I had to change. I just did not know where to start because I was so far into it, guys. I do think that I just was still kind of like eating my feelings like I wasn't really dealing with this, a lot of the things that had happened in the past which I'm just going to say like guys deal with your stuff like deal with the stuff that's going on because you're going to end up harboring it and it's going to hit you in different ways for me it hit me in food like I was eating my feelings definitely fast forward to when we moved here 
So I feel like God was trying to push me out of that apartment because that apartment had a lot of bad energy. Although I was dealing with a lot internally, I do feel like that apartment had really bad energy because once I moved here, things just changed. From March 2019 to August 2019, which was last year, I lost about 10 pounds. And that was when I first moved here and been living here for about five months. However, guys, it did take me about five months to lose 10 pounds. Like that was a very slow journey. That leads me to when I started my channel in August, 2019. I did a video on how to lose 10 pounds because I was so, so proud of myself that I lost that 10 pounds. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janet Domahina and you guys are joining me on my first health video on this channel ever. Um, and I'm gonna play some clips of that video so you guys can just visually see the difference from one year. That video was literally one year ago and I cannot believe the differences in my facial features. Wow, guys, it is crazy. But I was proud, and I still am proud of myself for losing that amount of weight. That It's not easy. It is not easy. And I want you to know, guys, that like I feel you. It is not easy. I was making little small changes to my diet back then, but I should have been making like hard-hitting changes, you know? And that leads me into goals, guys. The reason why I failed every single time I tried to embark on a fitness journey is because I was setting these huge goals for myself that I could not attain. Like, I was saying that I'm gonna eat healthy every single day, only one cheat meal a week. I'm going to work out five days a week, drink this much water, wake up at 6 a.m. for my workouts, all this craziness. And I would fail every time because those goals are just too large. We're human. Set small goals. And this is why I wanna know your goals down in the comment section. I set one goal for myself this time last year, and that was just to eat healthy. Don't worry about working out. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just eat healthy. And guys, that was the beginning of it all. Like, I went hard, okay? I went hard in the paint. We are getting into diet. We are going to get into the good stuff because this is when it got so real for me. So in the beginning, guys, I decided that I was going to cut everything out. No sugar, no alcohol, no cheat meals, low carb, and only highly nutritious foods. I ate like that for about two months. To be completely honest, guys, that's what you have to do. You have to refocus your mind and you have to cut out all of the stuff that is making you fail. You do. You do. I don't want to hear that, no, you can still eat what you want. And no, if you are really, really trying to make a lifestyle change, you got to you gotta do it, guys. You have to do it. You need to be hard on yourself in the beginning. And you don't have to do that for two months, but at least challenge yourself for a month because you will see huge changes. It, within a month and a half, I lost about 10 pounds just because I changed my diet. I do think it is very, very important to focus on your diet first. And guys, there was times where I struggled. I couldn't go out like that. I didn't really hang out with friends as much anymore. I was really just trying to stay focused on my goals because I had big goals for myself. I didn't, I wanted to lose the weight. Like I needed to lose it. Like I had no choice. And guys, I know it may seem hard, but you are way stronger than you think you are. It's going to take mental toughness. It is gonna take discipline, but you're going to do it. And once you achieve that eating goal, then you can move into the other goals. I was eating hard boiled eggs, I was eating turkey bacon, I cut out red meat, I was eating oatmeal, a lot of fish, we ate a lot of salmon. Clean up your diet and only focus on your diet in the beginning, guys. It's going to help you so much. And let me know if y'all wanna see a what I eat in a day video down below. I can do a cutting one, a what I eat in a day, when I'm not cutting, all of those different things. In about October of 2019, I started to lose 
a lot of weight and I was super happy with where I was. So I thought it was time to get in the gym and start toning up. And I started going to True Fusion around October, at the end of October, beginning of November, and I still go to this day. It definitely helped me tone up a lot. And as I was toning up and starting to feel good about myself, I was buying myself more fitness apparel. And as you can see, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you see that I started doing activewear reviews because I was rewarding myself with fitness apparel. And I do think it's important to reward yourself. Back then, I wasn't putting too much pressure with myself on working out. Like I said, guys, it's 80-20. I was seeing a lot of results and I did not want to jeopardize it. And I do find that when I work out more, I am more hungry. You know, I was just trying to keep myself focused. I was working out about four times a week, four to five times a week. January, I felt really, really good moving into the new year. I was like, wow, like, I have been staying focused for like almost six months now and my new year's resolution wasn't to lose weight. It was to, you know, continue on this fitness journey and to continue making these moves and stuff. I hadn't really looked at my body, but I was like, you're looking so good, girl. <laughs> You're looking so good. So let's fast forward to quarantine. So March, when the world just started to spiral down. COVID-19 hit and we were stuck at home. Being quarantined was a struggle for me in the beginning because I was wanting to do what everyone else was doing. Everyone was like, you know, drinking wine every night. And like, when I was doing that, I was drinking wine. We were just kind of like, you know, drinking white claws. I found myself starting to get a little weight and I got a little bloated and I got really nervous. And I was like, Janet, you are not about to throw away eight months of progress. You're not doing it. I discovered Chloe Ting workout. That was the beginning of the Chloe Ting workout flow. Honestly, guys, I know y'all are probably tired of seeing Chloe Ting workouts on my channel, but Chloe Ting workouts changed my game guys at the beginning of that challenge i was definitely gaining some weight there because of quarantine i was just like i didn't know what to do with myself and i was freaking out like everyone else that we couldn't go to the gyms anymore so chloe team workouts really did help me learn how to work out at home Mm. I never thought I'd be an at-home workout girl. I never thought I would, but I, I, I love it now. Like sometimes I prefer to work out here than to go to the gym. I do believe that is where my ab definition really came in. Like I don't think it's healthy to do abs every single day, like, but if you want some good definition, you need to jump on that Chloe Ting train, okay? Cause it really took my stomach from, oh, your stomach's nice, to. I started drinking a gallon of water every day. We eat at home a lot now because of quarantine. We started doing HelloFresh, which HelloFresh makes us eat at home for a good four days. Without HelloFresh, we would be eating out a lot. So I'm very, very happy that we jumped on the HelloFresh train. I do think that Instagram, posting Instagram content and like starting to post more fitness content here on my channel really did push me. Um, it, it almost, it honestly holds me accountable. It makes me remember my fitness goals and remember what I'm working for. So I do highly suggest, you know, make videos for yourself even if you don't want to post it. Take tons of pictures. I wish I took more pictures of myself, but I was too ashamed and I thought I was gonna fail, so I didn't. So take pictures, guys, it's worth it. Where am I at now, guys? Like, I am just, Sitting here reflecting on the last year, reflecting on the struggle this year has been mentally. Going on a fitness journey isn't easy, guys, and I feel you. I hear you. I see you. I am you. Those of you out there ready to start and just wanting to get it over with, I feel you and you are gonna get through this. You are way stronger than you think you are. You are strong and you are going to be able to do this. You can do this. That is all I have for you guys. 
please do leave me a comment letting me know where you are in your fitness journey i do want to talk to you guys about this stuff i really do want to start a discussion and yeah i can't wait to see where i am in another year maybe i'll do another one of these next year to see where i am then Ugh. and thank you guys to everyone who subscribes my channel who's joined me on this journey it's been quite the year i have just recently celebrated my one year anniversary here on youtube and i'm just so proud of where i am right now in my channel and i love looking back on my videos this past year just being like wow you've grown so much You've grown so much mentally, emotionally. Girl, you're growing up. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm gonna get emotional. I'm gonna stop rambling, guys. See you in another video. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>